Today on Ham Radio Q&A, we're going to take a look at the Expert Power 12 volt 5 amp lithium iron phosphate smart charger. So please keep watching for more. Hi, I'm Michael, KB9VBR, your host for Ham Radio Q&A. I'm on a mission to inspire and educate the amateur radio community, so if this is your first time watching, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, check us out on Patreon. Patrons gain access to exclusive content, and our patrons help keep the mission alive. That's over on patreon.com slash kb9vbr antennas. Well, in the past year, I've slowly transitioned over to lithium iron phosphate batteries for powering my amateur radio equipment in the field. Lithium iron phosphate batteries have certain advantages such as higher power density and longer discharge rates, but they also have a unique disadvantage in that charging requires a specialty charger. With lead acid or AGM batteries, I could use a standard battery charger, you know, like the ones over here, um, and everything would be fine. Even my NOCO Genius charger, which I love a lot, doesn't completely charge a lithium iron phosphate battery. And the reason why is twofold. First off, the batteries need to be brought up to a charging voltage of 14.4 volts to be completely charged. As your battery charges, the voltage increases. And once the voltage reaches 14.4 volts, that's an indicator to the charger that the charging process is complete. This is a bit of a simplification of the process, but it's a good explanation of how things work. And this brings us to the second problem. Lithium iron phosphate batteries rely on a BMS or battery management system to balance the charge and discharge cycles and regulate the output. When you use a standard charger on these batteries, the BMS will interfere with the charging circuit and trick it into thinking that the battery is charged. So you need a charger that resets the BMS and continues with the charging process until the battery reaches that 100% point. This brings us to the product I'm going to talk about today, and that's the Expert Power uh, 12 volt 5 amp charger. This charger is designed to work with lithium iron phosphate batteries of 10 amp hours and larger. And in full disclosure, I've purchased this charger with my own money, and this review is my opinion without any outside influence. First off, let's take a look at the specs. The Expert Power Smart Charger features charging to 14.4 volts at a charging current of 5 amps. It implements a two stage constant current, constant voltage charge algorithm. It's got automatic resetting of the BMS to allow current into the batteries, reading down to zero volts. Looking at the charger, the unit is approximately 6 by 2.5 by 1.89 inches. It has a 120 volt two-prong plug on one end, the cable is approximately 3 feet long, and then two 12 volt battery clips, colored red and black, for positive and negative connections on the other. This is also about 3 feet long. The unit has a built-in cooling fan and an indicator light that glows red when charging and green when done. To use the charger, first connect the red and the black clips to the positive and negative terminals of the battery, and then plug the unit into a 120 volt AC outlet. The unit is designed for 120 volts, 60 hertz North American electrical systems. And I'm not aware if there are versions for other countries, but if anyone knows, please feel free to leave a comment below. And that's all there is to it. I like to use a little power monitor to watch the charging process. As the battery charges, the voltage will rise until it reaches a final 14.4 volts. When charging is complete, the indicator light will turn green. If you touch a multimeter on the contacts, you'll notice that the voltage will be around 14.4 volts when the charger is connected. And then when you unplug the charger, the battery will drop to a fully charged floating voltage of about 13.4 volts. As for speed, well that's going to depend on the size of your battery and the percentage of discharge of your battery state. My 12 amp hour battery will fully charge in under 2 hours and my larger 50 amp hour battery will take anywhere from 5 to 10 hours. One advantage of lithium iron phosphate batteries is that you can charge them from any level of discharge. So the recharge time is totally dependent of the power level of the battery. So what is the good and the bad of the Expert Power 12 volt charger? Well, the good is that it is easy to use and it charges fast. You know, the 5 amp charging is a good rate for batteries of a size between 10 and 50 amp hours. So if you have a depleted battery, you can be back 
you can be back in action a lot faster than you would be by using a wall transformer trickle charger. But now the bad. This charger is noisy, and by that I don't mean the fan. This charger throws broadband noise across the entire HF spectrum. So if you think you're going to use your HF transceiver while waiting for your batteries to charge, you can really think again about that. And proximity doesn't matter. I've charged uh, the batteries out in the garage and uh, my station in the basement more than 30 feet away still hears the noise. I'll typically charge my batteries using my solar panels, uh, but that may not be always be an option depending on the weather or the season. So I wanted a convenient charging option for overnight or the winter months. The bottom line is, is that this is a good inexpensive charging option for your lithium iron phosphate batteries. Retail price at the time of this video is about $36. Well, do you have any questions about the Expert Power 12 volt 5 amp smart charger? Well, please leave them in the comments below. I'll filter through the comments and follow up with them. Who knows? You may end up in my next Your Questions Answered live stream. But for more articles and information, be sure to check out my blog at wwwjpol antennacom Your support of this channel drives the production of future videos. Support us on Patreon to help keep the mission alive. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That's your best way to be notified when a new video is released. Well, that's it for this time. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day and 73.